the man who makes the six million dollar man look like he's from the Wizard of Oz. Good morning, Nathan. Good morning, Mike. <laughs> Nice, nice to see you again after your week off. Oh, it was sensational, it was. But you've been a little bit busy yourself. A driverless car? Yeah, so Google have been working on driverless cars for a couple of years now, and it's one step closer to reality because now a third state, California in, in the US, have legalised driverless cars. So technically they weren't actually illegal before, but when the laws were first made uh, 90, 100 years ago... Mm. Um, no such did, thing as no, yeah. driverless cars. And, and all this computer technology. So they're now legal, which just means that Google in their home state, California, can uh, test and spend more time developing these cars. So far they've logged more hours without accidents than the average driver. So they're actually proven quite successful in a lot of ways. And um, there's many safety benefits, such as uh, restricting tailgating and all of that through uh, computerized programming. Have you seen the, the, the actual car itself? They're just a standard like SUV or um, station wagon type car, and they're yeah, just modified with all the computer controls. See, I want to see a James Bond Aston Martin converted. That's, that... Yes, very, very, very nice. <laughs> now you are extremely well dressed today. Well, oh, fashion, thank, fashionista, thank you. you are. Thank you thank absolutely you. are. Which brings me to this uh, new. Well, I'm going to call it high-tech Michael Jackson glove. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. So this is not just a concept. They're actually on sale for £50. These are Bluetooth gloves. So Bluetooth is a wireless technology for like hands-free speakerphones and headsets. Um, so if you think that somebody might look a little dorky with a little earpiece in their ear yeah. walking around talking, mm. uh, well, this turns your glove into the same same idea so no longer are you just mimicking when you hold your hand up to your ear and saying oh, i'm on the phone but you actually could be on the phone with these gloves so they have a microphone in in i guess it's the pinky and uh, the speaker and the thumb so next time i see someone put their hand up and go call me they actually could be calling <laughs> yeah they could be saying That's to nuts. somebody call me back and it's <laughs> actually a phone call and, and they're the types of gloves that let you operate a smartphone with the gloves still on. And you get 20 hours talk time out of the battery that's stored in the glove. That's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> now, it doesn't happen very often. Apple Apology for Maps app. That's correct. So with the new iPhone 5 and the iOS 6 software update for the older Apple devices, there have been many stories of bad maps and all sorts of things yes. happening like bridges disappearing and ships sinking and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. islands not being there mm -hmm. and, and uh, just just towns, particularly in South Australia, towns just not appearing on the maps at all. Uh, so Apple, yeah, the CEO, Tim Cook, has come out and apologised uh, sort of over the weekend and suggested that users uh, use other apps and, and competitors' products in the meantime while they get theirs right. <laughs> Which uh, sounds sounds quite absurd because you, you you can't ever think of hearing Steve Jobs or anyone from Apple ever suggesting use competitors. I'm trying products. to imagine going walking into a Holden dealership, right? <laughs> and they go, "Oh, actually, no. Do you mind buying a Ford for a little while?" Yeah, yeah. Just because <laughs> we we couldn't get the drive right, right or something. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, sure. It's one way to lose customers. That, that's right. So so there are a few apps uh, available, and checking through the App Store, there's actually in their featured section they have a suggested. Uh, mapping apps uh, tab to, to press on. So not only have they just suggested it in the media, it's actually in the featured section of their app store. So Nathan, always in the know. <laughs> it's easy with Gadget Coach.